Well, accusations of human trafficking and pedophilia on social media have caused two new Houston parents to sue a former Delaware state U.S. Senate candidate for defamation. I spoke with this couple today and with the political activist sounding off online in interviews you'll only see on Fox. Here's how it all unfolded. She took a very special moment, which included video of my babies that had just been born and circulated that on the Internet, calling me a pedophile. It wasn't the welcome home celebration social media influencer and small business owner Eric Vaughn and his husband of six years, Tony Trainer, expected. What should have been like the most exciting, happiest week of our life, we're torn between like loving on our babies and focusing on them and focusing on our family, but then also trying to defend ourselves in public. The couple documenting their experience of having their twins Harlow and Monroe through surrogacy on social media. The girls, who are now a month old, spent more than three weeks in the NICU. Oh, hi, baby girl. Political activist Lauren Witzke took to Twitter and other platforms sharing Vaughn's videos of his newborns, stating in part, this is human trafficking and in a sane society would be illegal. We really wanted to send the message that, like, you don't, mess with our family. Houston attorney Tony Busby filed the defamation lawsuit Monday. I spoke with the former Delaware U.S. Senate candidate who describes herself as a Christian. My tweet is a rep representation of my beliefs and I truly believe in what I say. And I have a right as a Christian to my opinion. So you have a right to take two people who are innocent, haven't done any criminal activity and blast them on your social media making these claims? So they posted it publicly on their social media. So when you post your depravity, you're going to get reprimand. Welcome to the internet. Vaughn and Trainer hope this action protects their family in the future. In 10 years, if the girls happen to Google their dads and they see this article and they see her tweet, <laughs> it causes so much concern. And this is com these are conversations that we want to have with our daughters of like, when you were born, this is what came on the internet and this is how we fought it. Family first, th at, at all costs, family first. And in the meantime, the couple plans to continue sharing their journey online, maybe even dancing from time to time to celebrate their new family. Well, Witzke says that she will not apologize. I will have an extended interview with her on fox26houston.com.